Alright boys and girls, I hope you're all having a lovely day, okay? Today boys, I've been feeling like talking about Silent Hill 2, okay? Because this game has been on my mind a lot, like in the past like week or so. I'm not sure why, but for some reason Silent Hill 2 Remake has just been living rent-free in my head for the past week. I just keep thinking about it. And these aren't good thoughts I'm having, lads, okay? I'm having a lot of bad thoughts about this game. I've just got a really bad feeling about it, you know? My gut is telling me that this is going to be a bit of a bad game. Now, I don't really like talking negatively about games, lads, especially to games that haven't even come out yet. So obviously, you know, I do just want to pre- preemptively say like this game might be good and I really hope it is good but my gut is just telling me that this is not going to be a good game you know I just feel like this is going to be a bit of a disaster see I just thought I'd do a brief video talking about my thoughts on the Silent Hill 2 remake and, and what I kind of think about it before we get into that lads I do want to briefly talk about remakes in general and just how I feel about them because I'm a little bit mixed on remakes as a whole sometimes maybe good sometimes maybe shit I think remakes in moderation can be absolutely great okay restoring old games and making them more modern and just you know better graphics and just improving gameplay elements I mean in general like what's not to love about that however I do feel like the gaming industry is way too dependent on remakes nowadays I feel like that's like half of the like triple a games we get nowadays like back in the day we'd hardly ever get remakes you know if you think back to like the ps2 era of gaming like there was barely any remakes I, I remember we got like the Resident Evil remake back on the GameCube but there was like a Metal Gear Solid 2 remake there was like the occasional remake but it was pretty damn rare to get remakes back then and if you did get them then they nine times out of 10 were really good. These days, every single old game is getting remade. They're not making any new games anymore. It's all old shit, which again can sometimes be good because I like old games and it's nice to get them, you know, a bit more modern with better graphics. But when they do them so often, it's a little bit like, come on guys, just make some new freaking games. And again, that's not me saying I don't like remakes. Like some of my favorite games in most recent years have been remade. You know, the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 remake, absolutely loved it. We had Resident Evil 4 remake, which is honestly pretty my game of the year this year. There's been a lot of amazingly good remakes, you know, so again, I'm not shitting on remakes, like, they can be very good. But yeah, I feel like my stance with remakes is it needs to be better than the original, you know, it has to improve the original product, otherwise what's the point of the remake? And there are some great remakes that, you know, some aspects of the original are better, like, for example, in Resident Evil 4 uh, remake, there were some things in the original that I prefer to the remake, but all in all, the remake did a good job of improving things from the original game. And I feel like that's where a lot of my fear with the Silent Hill 2 remake is coming from, because I really do struggle to see how they can improve Prove the original. But yeah, the original Silent 2, lads, it goes out saying this is one of my favourite games of all time, okay? I, I put this in my top 10 favourite games of all time easily. I mean, it's just one of the best, if not the best, horror game ever. I've talked about this game a little bit on this channel before, but when I first played this game, it just scared the shit out of me. There were so many amazing and iconic moments. The story, the characters, it was just such a brilliant game. The atmosphere of it is just horror perfection. Like, this game really got under my skin with just atmosphere alone. One of the moments that really, like, clicks in my head when I think about this game is where you walk into this room and you hear this weird whisper thing. I was talking about it in a video on this channel. I can't remember which one it was, but that shit just really scared the fuck out of me. Oh, I just don't like that. I also remember in the apartment blocks when you come across Pyramid Head for the first time and he just stares at you and you walk into a room, come back and he's just completely gone again. That shit, like just things like that just really got under my skin. And this game has not got like things like jump scares in it, you know, this is all atmosphere. It's just all scary and it's all psychological stuff. And yeah, in my opinion, this is just one of the best games ever made, okay? And this is why I am fearful of this remake because it's got a lot, like, it's got a lot to live up to. And I do feel like my skepticism with this remake is fairly valid, lads, and I have three main points I kind of want to touch on and why I don't think the remake is going to really live up to this. Again, I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I really hope the remake really delivers. But again, I do have reasons why I don't think it's going to live up to it. Okay, and the first thing is Bloober Team. That is who's making this remake. I can't sit here and tell you I've played every single game that these guys have made. Okay, in fact, I've only actually played one of their games, and that game being Blair Witch Boys, but that game literally was one of the most boring horror games I've ever played. Like, I just sat there in pure boredom. I, I, I turned it off after a couple of hours. Now, I've had a look at some of the other games they made. They did Layers of Fear. They did, I think it's called Observer. These games look okay, but there's nothing really absolutely amazing about them. There's really nothing that's super duper critically acclaimed from Bloober Team. You know, they've not really hit any of those 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 experiences. They're coming along and they're remaking one of the greatest horror games of all time. Again, like, I feel like I've got valid reason for me to be a bit skeptical about that. And I also think it's worth mentioning that Konami is just not the same Konami that they used to be when they did originally make this. This Konami back in the day 
they was like in their prime, okay? We have Metal Gear Solid, you know, just absolutely delivering. We had this, we had Zone of the Enders, which is what's like genuinely one of the most underrated games ever. Like Konami was at the top of their game at this point, boys. They were up there with some of the best. But lately, Konami have done absolutely nothing in the gaming space. Like they've just completely, they've been completely absent and they've just come out of nowhere and just decided, decided, you know, let's bring games back. And then part of me thinks, oh great, Konami are back. They're going to be making these games. I think, oh cool. But then the skepticism comes back and I think, why is Konami coming back? Oh, that's right. The money. I don't think it's a coincidence, lads, that Silent Hill 2 Remake and Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake are, are happening, you know? Because they could have started with Silent Hill 1 Remake. I feel like that would have made a lot more sense. Silent Hill 1 has been stuck on the PS1 for God knows how long, you know? Like, it would just make sense to remake the original. But I feel like Konami are intentionally doing the popular ones because they know they'll sell well. They know for a fact that Silent Hill 2 is the most critically acclaimed one, so of course they're going to remake that one. And the same thing with Metal Gear Solid 3. So yeah, the skepticism in my brain is just thinking that Konami is just looking at this as a cash crap. Again, I hope I'm wrong, but that's just how I feel. Another red flag with this remake is the fact that there's just not been any sort of news on it lately. They dropped this trailer for this game eight months ago, and there's not been a sniff since. Like, I've not really heard anything about it. I thought they were going to drop a trailer over at the PlayStation Showcase that happened a few months ago. I thought we were going to see some more stuff, but we've barely seen anything on it, and I thought this game was rumoured to be releasing this year. I I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. I feel like if that was going to happen, then we would have seen a bit more on it. So again, I, like my mind is just thinking, well, they haven't really got that much to show for it which again just makes me think that this isn't gonna be a good product but the final reason i don't think this remake is gonna deliver lads is that i don't think you can really like make this game better this game is not perfect but the imperfections of this game is what make it special in a way like if i do little breakdowns of this game you kind of see what i mean here so like the first of all like the fog in this game okay the fog is only in this game because the draw distance was so bad that they kind of wanted to mask it but that fog made this game feel really eerie and you just didn't know what was in front of you it just it really did work I don't think it was like super intentional, but it just really adds to the atmosphere of this game. So that negative right there of the bad draw distance has actually created a positive for the game. Another aspect of this game that I've heard been criticised before is the voice acting. You know, the voice acting is definitely not very conventional. They don't talk like normal people. They talk really slow and they make a lot of spaces in their speech. This, uh, th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. That was weird. And it just creates this really uncanny dialogue that just sounds really bizarre, but again, it just fits the game really well. And I don't think that's going to be in the remake. I feel like they'll go for a bit more, like, I've watched the trailer. They, they talk pretty normally. I also feel like graphically this game just doesn't need improving. I feel like the graphics really fit the, the style of the game, if, if that makes sense. I feel like improving it actually worsens the experience. There's a real gritty, sort of dirty look to this game, but which you, you really, really get with, like, the PS2 era games. And the art style would just really fits in. Again, I feel like if you modernise that, it just doesn't actually improve the product. It makes it worse, in my opinion. I also think the FMVs in this game maybe haven't aged the best, you know, compared to modern standards. Like, you look at cutscenes nowadays, they're basically movies. In this game, FMVs have got this really uncanny look to them, but they are mesmerising. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <sighs> you were always so forgetful. I even think the gameplay to this game, which is considered by most people like a flaw, is actually working in favour of the game. The combat in the original is not exactly great. Like the way James like hits monsters is just like super awkward. And the gameplay just doesn't feel good, you know? Like it, 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 you're not hitting combos out here like it's Devil May Cry. Like you're, you're not enjoying the gameplay specifically, but you're not really supposed to because you're in Silent Hill, you know? You don't want to be there. And my mind just flicks forward to the remake and what they're going to do with the combat because, you know, because they're not going to make it worse. They're not going to make it feel awkward and janky like a PS2 game. They're probably going to make it feel good, which in my opinion just works in contradiction to what Silent Hill 2 was going for. Like, even if the remake makes improvements to the game, it, it actually makes it worse, in my opinion. It's a strange, weird paradox, but I don't know, I just feel like that. But yeah, maybe I'm the only one who feels like this, lads. Maybe you guys are looking forward to better combat and better graphics and stuff, but I just feel like this original, even though it's not perfect, it is perfect at the same time, and, and improvements, in my opinion, are just 
just they just don't exist. You can't improve this game. But yeah, those are just some of my thoughts, lads. A lot of these are just fucking theories at the end of the day. I don't know what the end product is going to be with this remake. Or, you know, it could end up being the best game ever made. So I'm just going to end this video by saying that even though I'm skeptical, I'm still pretty excited for the remake. You know, I want to see what this remake is going to be like. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it's going to be good, lads. Konami, please don't let me down. Make this an absolute banger remake. But yeah, that's all my thoughts, lads. Let me know if you're thinking about Silent Hill 2 remake. Let me know what your thoughts are. Yeah, just leave a comment below and tell me how you're feeling about this remake. But other than that, boys and girls, subscribe and I'll see you guys for some more juicy content.